Welcome to lecture 48, exercise 1. The challenge for this exercise is to create a console-based application whose main method asks the user to input an integer and then calls a method named multiplication table, which displays the results of multiplying the integer by each of the numbers 2 through 10. So basically it's a function that takes in an integer and it, whatever that integer is, it multiplies that by all the numbers 2 through 10. So if you'd like to try this on your own, go ahead and pause the video now and begin. Otherwise, I'm going to go over it. Okay, so the first thing that it says to do is to ask the user to enter in a number, and that's the number that we're going to use. So I'm going to start off by saying console.write line, enter a number. Then I'm going to store that into an integer called number by saying int number equals int.parse console.readline. So now I have that number stored into the variable called number. Now I'm going to go ahead and create that function they're talking about called multiplication table by saying public static void multiplication table. And it's going to take in an int number. It's going to take in a number. The reason why I'm taking in an integer is because the function needs to know what number it should multiply 2 through 10 with. So if I type in 5, it's going to go 5 times 2, 5 times 3, 5 times 4, 5 times 5, all the way up to 5 times 10. So that number is important. Basically, whatever number they type in from the user, I'm going to pass that into the function through its parameter. Now, how do we actually do the, the multiplication? So in this case, I'm going to use a for loop. I'm going to go from 2 to 10 in the for loop. And every single time it iterates, I'm just going to print out the value of number times whatever the value of i is. So I'm going to say for int i equals uh, 2. We're starting at a 2. Because it says 2 to 10, I want to make i 2. I, as long as i is less than 11. I'm saying less than 11 because I want it to, go, I want it to print 10. So if I do less than 10, it will only go up to 9. I, if I want to keep 10, I can say less than or equal to 10. That will also work. But if I want to keep less than, I need to say less than 11. Then I++. plus plus. Then every single time, I'm going to simply just get the answer. So I'm going to say int answer first equals number times I. So that will go 2 times 5 or whatever the number is. And then I'm actually going to print it out. So I'm going to say console.write line placeholder placeholder times placeholder equals placeholder so the first one's going to be number oh no i'm going to do i first i'm going to do i then number then the answer so it'll go if i type in 5 it will go 2 2 times 5 equals 10 3 times 5 equals blah. Okay, so that's our multiplication table function. It's pretty basic. Now I just have to call it. That's the last thing to do is just to call the function. So I'm going to say multiplication table. And it says, okay, you need an integer. Oh, look, I, I have an integer. So I'm going to pass in number. And boom, let's see what happens. Let's run it. Enter a number 5. It goes 2 times 5 is 10, 3 times 5 is 15, 4 times 5 is 20, 5 times 5 is 25, on and on and on. You could do some formatting with this so that when it gets to 10, it doesn't actually go to the next line. So you can just add in the, those uh, formatting operators. Remember with that, I can say comma 2. So I can say every number take up two spaces, whatever it is. So that would make it look a little bit better if I do 5. As you can see now, it's all formatted properly. So 2 times 5, oh wait. The cool thing with this function is though, I can then do any number. I can do, I want to do uh, 10. 2 times 10 is 20. 2 times 10, I mean 3 times 10 is 30, all the way up. So that's the cool thing about having functions. You write the code once, and then you can pass in any number you want, and it will work. 2 times 2, two time, 3 times 2, 4 times 2, all the way up. So it's basically building a multiplication table.